we're provisioning for the trip right now. We need enough food and water for seven days at sea. That translates into 42 meals and 30 liters of water that we need to keep on board the ship. Coffee, most important item on the list. Making breakfast right now. It is 6.45. What's the plan today? We are going to check out at eight o'clock and then hopefully set sail around 10, figure out how this boat works and then go snorkeling somewhere over here. We departed from Stock Island Marina in Key West and we were prepared to set sail 21 nautical miles east to Newfound Harbor. From there, the plan was to set sail another 27 nautical miles east the next day to Boot Key and then make our way back west to Loggerhead Key, and then finally to Saddle Bunch Harbor before returning to Stock Island on the last day of the trip. We are doing our pre-departure check of the port engine. I'm checking the oil level. The oil was between here and here. We're good. Here's our coolant. Coolant looks okay. Our water strainer also looks all right. that at the speed that we're going at right now, we're not gonna make it back to our anchorage before it's dark. So we gotta take the sails down, fire up our engine so that we can speed in before the light disappears. We just got here to the Newfound Harbor anchorage. The winds are gusting about 30 to 35 knots. We have never anchored in winds as strong as this before. So this is gonna be an interesting night. I hope the anchor works. I'm curious if you guys have any tips on what you do when you anchor in really high winds. Leave a comment below. To continue in our comedy of errors, we recently discovered this morning that all three of our waste holding tanks are full. I discovered this when I went to go use the restroom and there was brown water already in the toilet bowl. I asked John if he forgot to flush, that was not the case. So then we did some investigation and realized it was actually coming over the side of the boat when we were flushing, so definitely full. And so now we have to leave our very perfect anchorage where we were looking forward to a day of snorkeling and paddle boarding to take up anchor, sail out three miles past the coastline, empty our holding tanks, and then turn around and come right back. So it turns out that the previous guests on the catamaran never emptied the waste tank before they left. There are four 20 gallon tanks on the boat, and that was a lot of other people's number two that we are hauling around. According to US Coast Guard regulations, emptying the waste holding tanks is only permitted when you're greater than three nautical miles off the coast. So we had to sail to that three nautical mile line on the charts and then empty our tanks. After spending the morning sailing there and back, we decided to take the dinghy out to explore the scenery and animals that were at our anchorage. Just jump in. The problem is I have this pole in front of me. Well, don't hit your head on the pole.
the wind has calmed down a lot. So we don't have a proper paddleboard oar. Here you go. I think I'm tethered to the dock though. Oh. Oh, oh Yeah, you got a motor behind you. Yeah, I don't think I can go into the what if I can't get back? But I'm on a very short leash right now. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in one place while this current blows me away. <laughs> this is what lovely swimming should be like. <laughs> Taking dinghy rides to nowhere and then swimming to nowhere? Basically. Wow. Oh, we picked a good place. They're like all over. Oh my god, it's a whole family. Oh, oh, they're dancing. Those two are just dancing. Oh, there's like, they're everywhere. Yeah. There's another pod of dolphins up there. Wow, you can hear them breathe. This is really cool. All right, well now we know what we're doing all day tomorrow. I'm gonna hang out and steer the dolphins. <laughs> the dolphins. <laughs> hey, people pay good money to go on dolphin tours. I know, we have one in our backyard now. Join us in the next episode where we have some major anchor problems, get tangled up with the crab pot, and then get stranded in the open ocean.